Jean is standing in a single line with several other people. There are four people in front of her and seven people behind her. How many people are in the line? So this is Jean in front of her. You have four people behind her. You have seven people. So in total, we have seven plus Jean plus four. And then that, if you add that up, is 12 people in total. Which of the following is the largest? Well, 1 to the power of 20 is just 1. 2 to the power of 14 I'll just leave alone for now. But these ones, I'll convert them to powers of 2. So 2 to the power of 2, all to the power of 8. And then 2 to the power of 3, all to the power of 5. And this one is 2 to the power of 4, all to the power of 3. And it helps us give with the comparison. So this is 2 to the power of 16. This is 2 to the power of 15, and this is 2 to the power of 12. So the largest of all of these guys is this one right here, which corresponds to 4 to the power of 8. The length of a rectangle is 3 times its width. If the length is decreased by 5 and the width is increased by 5, the rectangle becomes a square. Determine the length of the original rectangle. So originally, we have a rectangle where the length is three times the width, like that. And then they're saying if you decrease the length by five and then increase the width by five, you get a square. So that basically means that the sides would be equal. So these two guys would be equal. So therefore, L is equal to W plus 10. And then you just take that W plus 10 and plug it into this equation. So w plus 10 is equal to 3w, and therefore 3, uh, sorry, 10 would be 2w, and then w would be equal to 5. And if you plug that back into there, you'll get an l equal to 15, which is what they're asking for. They're asking for the length. In the diagram, AFC angle is 90, D is on AC, angle EDC is 90, CF is 21, AF 20, ED is 6. Determine the total area of the quadrilateral AFC. Okay, so AFCE, I'll break it up into two triangles, the first one being uh, ACF, I guess, and then the other triangle being ECA. Okay, so ACF, that's one-half base times height, so that's one-half times 21 times 20, so that's pretty straightforward. And then ECA, again, one-half base times height. The base is going to be AC, and the height will be 6. So all I need to do is figure out AC, and I should be able to solve this. Well, AC I can get with Pythagoras. That's just AC squared is 20 squared plus 21 squared. And when you solve for that, you get AC equal to uh, 29. So then you take that 29 and sub it into there. Uh, this is going to be, let's see, 210, I believe, plus 1 half times 29 times 6. And when you crunch out all these numbers, you'll get 297 as the total area of the quadrilateral AFC. In the diagram, AB is a diameter of a circle with center O. C and D are points on the circle. OD intersects AC at P. OC intersects BD at Q. And AC intersects BD at R. If angle BOQ is 60 degrees and angle APO is 100 degrees, calculate the measure of angle BQO. All right, so this is what you call angle chasing. And uh, I'm sure there's many ways of doing this. Let's just see what way I can do it. Uh, let's start labeling this. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. So uh, BOQ, BOQ. So this guy is 60 in here. And then uh, the only other thing they gave me, I think, was APO. So APO, this guy is 100. And I think that's it. That's the only thing they gave me. So what am I trying to figure out? BQO, BQO. So this angle in here. So I'll just call that theta. OK. Oh boy, so uh, how do I do this? 
I think uh, just use the simple triangular method, right? Triang the angles of a triangle add up to 180. So this guy in here would be 120 minus theta. And then um, I'm going to have to introduce some variables sooner or later. So I'll put that as x. And then this guy in here would be 100. Uh, no, 80 minus x. Yeah. And then... Uh, a, O, and O, C are radii, so that makes that an equilateral triangle. Sorry, not equilateral, so, sorry, isosceles. This triangle right here is isosceles, so that means if this is X, that's X too. And then, similarly, uh, this angle in here is also going to be 120 minus theta for the same reason, actually, that, it, that uh, is uh, isosceles. And then this guy, I'll just call it Y. And this angle in here is 80, since it's the 180 minus 100. Okay, I, I did a bunch of labeling there. Now let's see what I can do. Uh, okay, what am I going to do now? Well, let's start. Let's start with uh, triangle. Uh, DOB and in, in that triangle we have angles 120 minus theta plus y plus 60 plus 120 minus theta and that all has to equal 180 right so when you do this math you get 120 is equal to 2 theta minus y or you can just put y is equal to 2 theta minus 120 okay so that's a little bit of help there let's move this up a little bit all right, so what's the next uh, triangle? Let's see here. Uh, probably ACO, triangle ACO. In that one, you can't see the C there. There's C. You have 2X plus 80 minus X plus Y, and all that is 180. Yeah, 2X plus 80 minus X plus Y is 180. So when you do that, you get x plus y uh, is equal to 100. Yeah. OK. And then um, I'm going to use the whole line. This, this, These guys right here, these guys right there all add up to 180 so 80 minus x plus y plus 60 is 180 and from that i get that y minus x is equal to 40. so that means these two i can use to solve if i add those two guys i will get 2y is equal to 140 and therefore y is 70 and therefore x would be 30 i believe and then what am I trying? I'm trying to figure out theta. I still haven't figured out theta. Oh, I can use this guy. So 70 would be 2 theta minus 120. And therefore 190 would be 2 theta. And therefore theta would be 95. So as you can see, this angle chasing eventually leads to our correct answer. Integers can be written in bases other than the usual base 10. For example, the notation 2357 stands for the base 7 representation of the integers uh, 2 times 7 squared plus 3 times 7 plus 5, which equals 124 in base 10. In general, if x, y, and z are integers between 0 and b minus 1, inclusive, then x, y, z to the base b is x, b squared plus y, b plus z. Find all triples x, y, z for which x, y, z base 10 equals 2 times x, y, z base 7, where each of the x, y, z comes from the list 1 through 6. All right. So x, y, z to the base 10 is equal to 2 times x, y, z to the base 7. All right. So let's expand this. This is going to be x times 10 squared plus y times 10 plus z. And that is equal to 2 times x times 7 squared plus y times 7 plus z. 
So this is 100x plus 10y plus z. And this is going to be 98x plus 14y plus 2z, I believe. Okay, put everything on one side, and we're going to get 2x minus 4y minus z is 0. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, hmm, where do I go from here? Okay, well, I'll put the 2x on one side and the 4y plus z on that side. Okay, so this side is even, obviously. Anything of the form 2 something is even. So uh, this side has to be even also. 4y four, four is already even, that guy, since it's a multiple of 4. So that means this has to be even in order for this equation to be valid. So that means my value of z, since it's coming from there, can only be the even guys. So let's make a table x, y, and z, and let's see what we can get. So I can only choose values that are even. So that would mean 2, 4, and 6. So the only values of z that can work for me. So that narrows it down a little bit. But I still got to do some work here um, based on this equation, or based on this equation, whichever equation you want to use. Same thing. Okay, so let's start with 2. When z is 2, um, when z is 2, uh, let's see here. What am I doing? I'm plugging it into this guy. So 2x minus 4y is equal to 2, or x minus 2y is equal to 1. Okay, oh, I got to just figure things out here on my own. Okay, so let's say if y was 1, x would be 3, like that. Yeah, since I have two equa one equation with two variables, I've got to sort of manually do it. If y is, y can't, let's see here. Do these numbers have to be all different? Where each of the comes from the list? I think so. I think it's not entirely clear, but I, I hmm, actually, I'm not sure. It, no, there's nothing that states that they have to be different. I think they, they can be double. So, for example, if you have 2 again, and you set y equal to 2, and, and that equation would give you x equal to 5. And then after that, you would get values of x that are not in this list anymore. So I think that exhausts the z equals 2. Now, z equals 4, again, going back to the same equation, it would be 2x minus 4y is equal to 4, and that would give me x minus 2 is equal to 2. Sorry, I, I forgot the y in there. And uh, for example, if y was 1, x would be 4. And if, x, if y was 2, x would be 6. And I think that's it in terms of being able to get numbers that are only in that list. Okay, uh, if z is 6, then it would be 2x minus 4y is 6, so x minus 2y is 3. If is y is 1, then x would be 5, and then I think that's it. Then you would get values that are greater than 5 for x, and that is not valid. Okay, so we got these triples, those 5, and I think that completes the question.